Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week, we connect you to the best of Delmarva. I'm your host, Dana Kester McCabe. Photographer Jay Fleming has a particular passion for the waters of the Chesapeake Bay, including everything above and below the waterline, as well as the people who make their living off its bounty. He's finishing up a major project, publishing a book of over 300 of his photographs. So working the water um, was a project that started three years ago. Um, I first went out with uh, Art Daniels. He's a waterman out of Deal Island. He's actually 94 this year. He just retired last year. But um, Art Daniels welcomed me aboard his skipjack, um, city of Crisfield, which he's worked for over 60 years. And um, Art's just an amazing guy, a truly inspirational person. And uh, Art kind of inspired me to start on this project because through Art, I was able to realize, you know, how many people depended upon the industry, on the seafood industry that is, and also, um, you know, that the industry was changing. And, um, you know, it was really important to document photographically guys like Art because they're, uh, you know, they're living legends and, you know, they'll never, never be replaced. And they've seen things on the Chesapeake Bay that nobody else will ever see. The writing aspect of the book was, it was difficult to sit down and find the time to write everything that I needed to write, but I felt like it was, it was really necessary to kind of help, help describe the pictures um, because there's just, there, were, there was only so much that we could include as far as the images went. And um, you know, you really, have to, you really have to use writing in the captions and we have a lot of um, section introductions that we call them. We have 31 different um, subchapters and four chapters to the book. And each subchapter has about, uh, I don't know, 2,000 words. So I guess you could say I'm passionate about the topics that I cover. Um, you know, I have a passion for learning more about what I'm covering and, uh, you know, better understanding it and helping other people better understand what I'm shooting because there's you know, a, lot of, uh, a lot of what I'm shooting, you know, hasn't recently been covered. It's been years since somebody's done a, a visual narrative of the... Chesapeake Bay and the seafood industry, and I think uh, you know even when they were done, they didn't really cover every fishery in detail. So I think you know my book is not only visually appealing, but it's it's very educational because there's a lot of things covered in the book that a lot of people are unaware of. And I was uh, I was out on Tangier Island earlier this week, and I brought the blue line proofs for my book out there, and I was showing it to some of the some of the watermen I'm friends with out there, and. Um, some of them were, you know, they were learning stuff about different fisheries in the bay that they didn't know about, like snapping turtles. Um, and there's, you know, there's a lot of, it's 280 page book, so there's a lot of pictures and I wrote about 15,000 words for the book too, um, based upon my experiences, so it's a lot of information as well. Jay is becoming as well known for his underwater photography as his above water pictures. He knows his camera. He's able to capture just what he is seeing in pristine light and detail. His experienced eye prevents the need for a lot of retouching or processing of his imagery, whether using still photography or video. I think a little bit of retouching on an image is necessary, like cropping a picture. Um, you know, if, if, there's a, if there's some distracting like branch or, uh, you know, just something in the way of the focal point that takes away from what you're looking at, then I, I'll you know, crop it um, if necessary. I'll adjust, you know, the lighting, um, you know, fill in some shadows, uh, that type of stuff. But I really try to, you know, use the light as my kind of natural retouching tool so I don't have to go back in and really work on the image. Sometimes it's, it's necessary, you know, if you're just forced to shoot in bad light, like in the middle of the day, you know, say somebody's wearing a hat and there's a shadow you know, casting down on their face and you can't see their face. Well, that's, you know, that might require a little bit of work. But, um, you know, as far as, as my post-production work goes, it's, it's pretty minimal. I, I did start my photography in the darkroom, uh, but quickly realized that I wanted to shoot in color. I really don't do any black and white. Um, occasionally I'll convert an image to black and white if it really needs it. And, you know, I, I try to incorporate color into every one of my photographs, so I really don't feel like my images translate very well to black and white. 
because that's kind of, you know, I'm, I'm going for the vibrant colors and, you know, the, the beautiful light uh, in the morning and in the evening when I'm shooting outdoors. I think video has its place and still photography has its place. They're two completely different, um, you know, forms of art. And I've, I've recently branched off into video and started doing a little bit of video and uh, it's, it's been a real effective tool for me to um, promote my still photography. And, uh, you know, it's been an effective storytelling tool as well. And it'll never, for me, it'll never replace photography, but it'll always be a supplemental tool to help, um, you know, tell the stories that I want to tell. Jay has several degrees, one in economics from St. Mary's College and two others in natural resources and ecosystem conservation. His education gives him an informed appreciation and understanding of his subject matter. He learned photographic technique from his father, acclaimed Delaware photographer Kevin Fleming. Though he's still relatively young, his own artistry comes from personal experimentation over many years. For me, composition was, uh, learning composition was just a matter of trial and error. You know, just shooting a lot. I would, you know, I always try to go out three times a week to shoot pictures. Um, sometimes I, I don't get out that much, like when I was working on the book. But, um, you know, just shooting as much as possible has been the greatest uh, teaching practice for me. Jay's photography has the beauty of fine art, but his approach is that of a witness to the changing world around him. I would say that, you know, I, I would consider myself more of a naturalist than an environmentalist. Um, you know, I, I really, you know, try to look for stuff, you know, try to understand the, the ways that the, the environment works rather than trying to, um, you know, push my agenda or my opinion. Um, I really just strive to create like a, a accurate depiction of what's going on in the environment through my photographs. Um, and you know, how people interpret them is, is that's, that's up to them. Um, I'm not trying to change any opinions through my photography or, uh, you know, make any opinions for myself, but I would, I would consider myself more of a naturalist. Jay accepts commercial photography commissions. Much of this work has been for marketing materials for seafood companies. His book, Working the Water, will be released to the public this fall. Visit our website for a link to his site and social media accounts to find out about book signings and other associated events when they happen. That's delmarvaalmanac.com slash arts. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. Be sure to follow us on Facebook or Twitter. And next week, join us to learn more about our local culture and get connected to our natural wonders. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, and our underwriters for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. If you'd like to become an underwriter for this program, visit delmarvaalmanac.com slash support. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune. <laughs>